Here's the evidence of when people take your kindness for a weakness. Uh, last night, this I, I, the other day, I, I was going to lock the car doors and shit. And this man walks by. He was a black dude. And he goes, hey, man, you got a cigarette? So I was like, hold on, man. And I got in the car. I grabbed two. And I gave him one. And he says, you got a lighter? And I lit a cigarette for him. No. Uh, and the dude, he touched around my shoulder. And he was like, thanks, brother. And I was like, thank you, brother, for uh, saying thank you. You know what I'm saying, dude? Walked off. We had a body business. I went back. Sitting there walking through the hood, and there was this dude. I mean, he was limping. Uh, you know, so of course, I'm gonna be like, oh man. Uh, either that, he's walking real slow, but he kept like compelling me to come back. And the other night, actually, I had this demonized guy, man. As I walked by, he said something. I couldn't understand him because his abonics was very heavy. Very heavy, and I, and I was, look, when you're crunching through grass, you can't understand what people saying. And the same thing was happening with dude last night. And he said, hey, you got a cigarette? I gave him a cigarette. And he's like, hey, man, I'm, I'm having problems. I need some help. So I gave him $1.50. I'm like, well, there you go, man. Go get yourself a beer then. You know what I'm saying? So I try to go about my business, and this dude keeps compelling me back. And I'm like, oh, man, you ain't going to try something stupid now, are you? And look, because he doesn't know who I am. He doesn't know that I'm scrapped the frick up. And uh, it's like, well, I just beat your ass, especially if your foot bad. I mean, you better have a frick. You know, if, he had, if he'd have been scrapped, strapped, he'd have shot me. You know, I mean, he wouldn't have got away with very much money. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? Uh a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? And then he wouldn't have been able to run from the cops very fast. But, dude, the police, dude, there's shots around here all the time. So what this dude was trying to do, they got a little a racket around here, a little extortion racket. They're going to think, it's like, look, I'll give you some charity. Hey, you try to rob me now. Uh, I mean, hey, if he would have whipped out the gat, you think I'd have gave him my, uh, you know, my piddly five dollars? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was ten. But I don't know, I'm kinda I'm kinda stupid. You know what I'm saying? I might actually just say F you and fight and fight the gun away from him. You know what I'm saying? And then beat the fuck out of him with the gun. Not even shoot him. Keep the gun. Go bury that thing. Never report it to the police. I'd make a video about it right now and still not report it to the police. Cause fuck them, they ain't gonna help. I look, I'll get, I'll get attempted murdered. I'll fight the guy, take his shit from him. I'll go to prison as the fucking murderer. You know what I'm saying? That's how this thing is work around here. So can't trust you. It's nothing fucking personal. You're just an extortion racket to make money for the federal government. Come on, accept it now. You're just like, like in the Bible when everyone looked really freaking down on tax collectors. Well, hey, Mr. Poli, man. Your job is, is just as bad and even worse sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Then the tax man. So look, that's your lot in life. But if you do your job well, like Jesus said to the good centurion, who he said that he ain't, he ain't never seen men with such faith. And, and so likewise, the police have blind faith to Big Brother. If they could just convert that faith over to the Bible, to the scripture, to Jesus, to Yeshua, to the truth, they would be all right. They could go through their life. They wouldn't do no violence without cause. They would not lie. Look, see, if you got to lie to catch the criminal, you're a criminal. How come you get to do it and we don't? But anyway, neither here nor there. This motherfucker, he really tried to get me. And then he, he, tried, he tried to sick the younger boys on me who got dreadlocks and shit. And I had to roll on up out of there. But I was like, I, I was like, I had to point my finger at him and I was like, I was like, I already done bought you a beer. Now you gonna fucking uh, try to get me lynched? Make me look bad in front of all these fucking hood ass dudes around here? Anyway, I had to walk it out. Got around the corner. Pulled out my sling. Grabbed some stones. Had had a knife in each hand. And I'm like, man, if you motherfuckers... You know what I'm saying? I mean, look. That's the type of life you gotta live, man, sometimes. Look, I lived in the north side. Ain't no one ever tried me no shit like that. 
You know what I mean? Ain't no one tried no shit like that with me. And I can't believe this guy. It's like Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy used to walk around with like a arm sling on like he was hurt. You know what I'm saying? So this is a real sick motherfucker, whoever this guy is with the hurt foot. I'm going to see him again. He, and chance are he might have two hurt feet if he come try to pull that on me again. 